Hey guys, so the hype for the iPhone 8 is unreal. People are so excited for this phone without knowing that their kidneys will be even more excited because the iPhone 8 is not going to be just your normal iPhone. You see, Apple knows that a lot of people can afford to pay for the 7S and 7S Plus. That's why there's an interesting theory that we might see a new lineup of iPhone. iPhone Reborn, a new pro category of iPhones just like their MacBooks with bleeding edge technology and all the good stuff. Now, Apple is not a company known for a huge dramatic change in their product lineup, so we still have the same stuff. The iPhone 7S and 7S Plus are coming as usual based on the current iPhones with few changes, but mainly based on the current models. Technology is moving so fast, and you see what Samsung did with the Galaxy S8, the new bezel-less era has begun, which is why Apple can't delay its own huge change of design, display, and physical look, and release iPhone 8 next year. They don't want to be left behind that's why the iphone 8 or it could be called as iphone pro is releasing this year in the same time as the normal 7s and the 7s plus the iphone 8 or iphone pro is said to be a new luxury lineup of iphones for people who can afford to pay with cash not kidneys people who can pay more and more whatever apple asks them to pay for according to the recent report the iphone 8 will cost 1100 dollars $1,100 for base model with 128 gigs of storage and the higher 256 GB model will cost $1,200. This is an insane luxury debut of the iPhone 8. The rumored date of the announcement is September 6, which is almost a week later than the Galaxy Note 8. The analyst JP Morgan predicted that Pro iPhone 8 will arrive on time and will start selling in the usual end of September timeframe. Initially, the iPhone 8 units won't be enough. Only 5 million units for September release. They will ramp up the production through October with target output levels achieving in early November. So it's going to be hard to purchase the iPhone 8 in the start after the announcement and besides not everyone would go for iPhone 8 since it has such a huge high price and with the iPhone 8's absence the 7s and the 7s plus will be readily available in the stores for people to upgrade iPhone 7s and 7s plus will get same internals as the iPhone 8 which is the new Apple A11 processor same camera as well with iOS 11 the 7s family will have a design similar to the 7 but with glass back instead of aluminum to have support for wireless charging it could also come in new exciting colors and will be priced similar to the old iPhone's launch price Basically, you're getting everything that iPhone 8 offers for less price with 7S and 7S Plus, but with a 2014 design. Sad. We also have a new battery rumor for this and next year iPhone 9. Apparently, LG will be making batteries for 2018 iPhone. The report adds that the battery on the iPhone will be L-shaped. This design will give more space for the internals and rumor has it that battery life on the upcoming iPhone 8 will be even greater than what the iPhone 7 Plus delivers. Currently, the 7 Plus can support 13 hours of LTE browsing, 15 hours of Wi-Fi browsing on a single charge. If the iPhone 8 can exceed these metrics in a relatively compact form factor, it would serve as as yet another selling point on an already compelling device. So yeah guys, the iPhone 8 is going to be the most expensive iPhone on the planet and might set a new category of iPhones in the future to target specific high-end luxury audience. Maybe next year or two years from now, these pro iPhones could cost up to $2,000. Apple is going for something big here and it can literally change the smartphone game. Let me know your thoughts. Would you like to pay $1,200 for an iPhone? Let me know and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.